So now we're going to have a sex education quiz by Beducated. So if you'd like to come to the stage, so then everyone, I want to say, pay attention in this one, because you will be quizzed and there's an opportunity to win a prize at the end, all right? So pay attention. Julia, introduce yourself, the floor is yours. Hello, hi everyone. It's a great pleasure to see so many sex positive and sex curious people in one place. And I know it's almost lunchtime, so I bet everybody's getting pretty hungry, and I double appreciate you sticking around for this. Um, and uh, my name is Chloe, and I'm a running campaign manager at Beducated, and also a sex coach in training. And today, um, we are gonna learn a little something about the topic that I'm sure some of you could have already even mastered in your bedrooms, some of you tried at least a little bit, but definitely all of you got curious about and heard of. And that topic is spanking. That's right, that's the topic we're going to talk about today. And um, what's going to happen is we are um, going to watch a video um, and then we're going to play a quiz. And we, there's going to be a little price. I'm going to tell you about that in a moment. But before we dive deep into the kinky waters of spanking, I want to ask you a quick question. Has any one of you heard of Beducated? No? Oh yeah, we have some of you. Hey, cool, nice. But, and of course, the Beducated team themselves, that's great. Um, and uh, so for those of you who haven't heard about Beducated, Beducated is an online platform with 80 plus online courses all about sex and intimacy. And um, the courses are created by the world's top sex experts and the variety of topics that the courses cover well, honestly, just huge. So if you're a sex curious person like myself, and judging by the fact that you're all sitting in this room, I bet you at least a little bit sex curious, um, you will find plenty of useful information educated on anything and everything for your personal or professional use. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, and uh, the reason why I'm telling you this is because by the end of the we're going to play video, like I mentioned, and there's going to be a quiz and you're going to have a chance to win a 69, random number, 69 free day access to Beducated. Um, yeah, so uh, I think we can proceed with the video. Are you curious about spanking? Well, you're not alone. Giving or receiving erotic spanking is actually one of the most common sexual fantasies across all genders. So here are the five reasons why people like spanking and five mindful tips on how to get started. Firstly, spanking causes a rush of endorphins, oxytocin and adrenaline in your brain, which together enhance the excitement. The blood flows into the area, the nerves start to tingle and your arousal is heightened. Another reason why people love spanking is for the thrill of it. We are all wired in a way that makes taboos and unexplored territories inherently exciting. Spanking is also great for your well-being. You could see it as a form of massage. It releases tension, inviting you to be totally present. As spanking takes trust, many use it to enhance intimacy. All the pleasure hormones released through play helps you feel more connected to your partner. And finally, it's a great way to introduce power dynamics to your bedroom which can be oh so delightful. Now here are five mindful steps on how you can get started with spanking. First, communicate what type of experience you both want. Decide for how long you want to do it for and please state boundaries, safe words and consent. When it comes down to it, start with setting the scene. Create a comfy atmosphere in which you can totally let go. Try various body positions such as over the knee, doggy or standing and also experiment with hand positions, rhythm and tools. Build sensation, suspense and surprise by alternating the intensity and type of time 
touch. Try rubbing and caressing the area to increase anticipation. After the spanking is done, offer comfort to the area and to the person. Linger in the afterglow and share how you feel if you want. Remember, a good consensual spanking can unleash your full erotic potential. You've been warned! For more kinky treats between the sheets, subscribe to our channel and visit us at educated.com. Awesome! Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was actually uh, presenting to you the spanking Mariah Freya, who is our own sex bird and I'll spare the secret, a co-founder of Educated. Mariah is also over here. Hi, Mariah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. Um, and uh, so what's going to happen now, we're going to play the quiz. For that, I would like to ask you to take your phones out. Uh, you can either go to slido.com and insert the code that you see on the screen or scan the QR codes, as I see you already do it, the beautiful technology that allows us to do that. And what's going to happen is you will see five questions and you're going to have 20 seconds per question. And whoever answers the questions correctly and the fastest is the one who's going to win the prize, which I will remind you, 69 free day access to Educated. So, are we all ready? Yeah? We have the quiz? Yes? All right. <laughs> Let the fun begin. In a moment. And the question number one is, the number one requirement for safe and enjoyable sex is A. A good mood and wine B. A whip and handcuffs C. Communication and consent and D. Moaning and name calling Let's see which one it is All right, that's true. It's communication and consent, of course. Safe and uh, enjoyable spanking needs to have that and uh, moving on to question number two. Ooh, we have a winner so far. It's gonna be updated every time. All right, question number two. Which hormone is activated when engaging in spanking? Adrenaline, oxytocin, endorphins, or all of the above? Let's see. That's a little bit of a biology lesson. And the correct question is all of the above. Exactly, that's the cocktail of hormones that is being released. That's why spanking is so pleasurable. Let's see. All right, Louise is doing pretty great. <laughs> awesome. Let's move on to question number three. Spanking is considered a mindful practice because A, it allows participants to be present in the moment. B, it involves a lot of talking. C. It is full of touching, and D. It can be combined with meditation. And the correct question, exactly. Spanking does allow to be present in the moment and really just be feeling grounded. That's why it can be considered a mindful practice. And let's see. Ooh, Ella. Hello, Ella. Sorry, Louise, but Ella, you're doing great. Uh, moving on to question number four. The power dynamic, dominance and submission. A. Makes spanking illegal. B. Can be a delightful part of spanking. C. Must not be a part of spanking. And D. Gives permission to be rough. That's right. That power dynamic can be an also delightful part of spanking. And let's see who is leading now. Ella, again, good for you. Um, moving on to our last question that is going to determine the winner. It's recommended to end spanking with A. Opening up a bottle of champagne. B. A nap. C. Aftercare. Or D. Some more spanking. it's aftercare that is recommended even though if you ask me there this question was missing all of the above <laughs> all 
option. And let's see who is the winner. And the winner is Emma! talk to us feel free to here or the after party as well and uh, yeah enjoy the rest of the event ciao bye